Hey guys, Nuki here, and today's video we're gonna go over Danetas. It is a one hand crossbow set uh, combined of two one hand crossbows the Revenge and the Respite. Uh, together, they add uh, Vault Gains, uh, the effect of Reckling Roll rule, rule uh, and also it leaves a clone after you vault. Uh, but the main thing here is uh, the fact that Vault Nun costs. Hatred instead of discipline. Uh, unlike when you see it the first time, you think, hmm, I can't be that great. Until you realize how much hatred you actually regen and how much you can actually spam this skill. As you can see here, I can pretty much spam it indefinitely. I can then add the action shot rune so that whenever I do vault, I roll, I shoot out arrows all the side, this, uh, this destroys breakables and all that. Then you have the rattling roll rule on top of that. Um, and you have the stun whenever you roll into something. Um, this becomes a quite potent skill all of a sudden, the vault. Um, as you could see the in the small clip earlier, I was killing Malthale on 6 player. Or not 6 players, uh, Torment 6. Um, so what happens, uh, or so what happened in the fight is what I would do is I would vault into him all the time, and since we have red ring rolled here with action, or we have vault with action shot, you can see here shoots four arrows for seventy five weapon damage. These are physical. Um, I assume uh, doesn't really matter. What matters here is four arrows doing seventy five percent weapon damage. That all crit. When I when I have uh, if I was to use sharpshooter here, let me show you. As you can see, again, 100% crit. My damage grows up substantially. Imagine what happens when the skill has 100% crit chance. This has 100% crit chance, and it, it doubles the damage. This is 300 uh, weapon damage already, and now it's always critting. And if you compare my hatred is too low. the attack speed to my vault speed, it's pretty comparable, right? As you can see here. It's pretty much the same. So we're actually dealing with something that's doing double damage compared to the what it's showing down here. So we could probably... If you compare this to my actual damage here, well, we're looking at probably like 6 million DPS just from doing the rat, rattling roll. Maybe a little bit more uh, if he's debuffed and all that. Like we add the mark, that's another 20%. Uh, on the fight I was doing, I used Call of Week, that's another 20%. Um, we need, you use the elite damage as well, that's uh, another um, like 76% here and all the physical damage. So in the end, like we're scaling this up to be actually a quite, quite potent skill, as you can see right here. So these will all automatically seek out the nearest enemy. And as you saw in the kill, these kept hitting Malthale all the time. So all four projectiles were focused on the same monster. So this is actually an incredible single target skill if you use it on bosses the right way. I use this all the time in my uh, in my pet sentry build um, for when I have uh, enemies that are like um, that are alone in the end, like rares. I use it on the final bosses of the maps, and it really does quick work on them just by spamming a vault through them because you can more or less stun lock them for a large duration of the time. It seems that at some point um, they have events or triggers that will break uh, no matter what, like he would cast a cloud every once in a while, uh, but he wouldn't attack me, I could just vault through. Uh, I then had the sentries I placed down, I had the rain of engines always raining down, I had the pen standing around not having to run after him, so I could just vault the, like walk through him while everything just stood there and fought uh, and shot. It took me around two minutes to kill him, which I think is pretty good um, for a build that's not totally um, single target centric. Uh, another thing I want to show you here is what you can do in terms of speed running. You could do normal speed farming, uh, then you always one shot, but let me show you here in Torment 1. Let me just go to Act 1 and just show you how quickly you can actually do this. So not even can I, not only can you stun with this, uh, whenever you come uh, enter the map, as you can see here, I actually crit for a lot. Because I have ambush and I have steady aim. 
Okay, let's see here. And then you can add this one, and you can add this one, and you just speed through. It doesn't take much to kill, like, entire packs. As you can see here, we're nearly done with it. Oh, it's over here. Open the chest. If we kill a few more. There we go. That's one. We go further. Next quest. Also, the I, I pretty much have unlimited. I have Night Stalker. These always quit, so these prog Night Stalker all the time. Well, there's a chance that they give me or give me doesn't, but assuming like as you can see here, we have a hundred percent crit chance, which makes Night Stalker pretty good. Then you use uh, preparation with punishment, so you convert your discipline into hatred, and well, you can, you can see what happens. So let me find this real quick. This also, like, while you're doing this, it kills a few enemies every once in a while. Uh, if you're not sticking around, it still kills every once in a while. Um, especially if you throw that on cooldown. Uh, pro probably what I would do with this build is I would um, get the full Natalie set for the Reign of Engines cooldown reset. I could, I could easily optimize this spec. This is, this is not optimized for this. This is just my normal pet build where I use this. That's the one. Honestly, I should be uh, I should be popping the bodies all the time because I do have the Harrington belt. Like this this quest normally would take a long time. He's dead. Or the idea for a build here could be um, stack a lot of crit damage, stat additive damage, stack decks, and I do believe that in the end you can you could have this so it kills most stuff, most fights. Uh, really fast so you can see that that's act one on torment one um so pretty much um you can use this as a stun lock mechanic vault is way stronger with action shot than you might think um for speed farming then yeah, this is awesome so um hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time